I'm pretty darn hungry. I've been waiting all day. As my visit to Bangkok comes to a close, I wanted to share with you one more place. But it's not coffee. This is Mark Weens, and if you watch food on YouTube, you've probably seen his videos more than once. Mark travels the world eating food and raving about it. And he's opened a restaurant, a little quick service shop in Bangkok's Ekamai district near Sukhumvit 42 and the Ekamai BTS station. While people outside of Thailand seem to believe that the national dish is Pad Thai, the truth is that most Thais actually prefer a dish called Pad Kaprao, with Pad meaning stir-fried and Kaprao meaning basil. Specifically, Thai basil, which is different than the regular basil you might be used to with bolder notes of licorice and spice instead of sweetness and pepper. Personally, I like my Pad Kaprao made with an obscene amount of basil, but that's not normal. The restaurant is called Pedmark, which is a wordplay on the Thai Pet Mak, which means spicy mark. Cute, huh? Pet Mark came about because Mark and his friends were arguing about which place in Bangkok makes the best Pad Kaprao and decided to open a restaurant making their version of the Pad Kaprao to end all Pad Kapraos. The shop is painted in bright yellow and red so it stands out. And since Mark has nearly 11 million subscribers and 3 billion views, there's usually a line with up to 45 minute waits. I figured the lines wouldn't be too long late in the afternoon and I got lucky because Google says it's never slow. Mark's friends and business partners are food consultant and fellow YouTuber Kun Tan, artist and lover Pong Tap Anurat, and Iron Chef Thailand Gig Kamol. Since it's a Pad Kaprao joint, there's only one dish, but with the different proteins, spice levels, and egg variants, there are actually 900 different combinations you can order. I ordered the pork, very mild spice, because I want to taste the food, not crazy. The basic pad kaprao consists of the Thai basil stir-fried with some sort of protein, classically with minced beef, but also pork, chicken, and at pedmok, wagyu, squid, vegetables, and a new buffalo version. It's really a simple dish. Start off by stir-frying crushed garlic and Thai chilies for the heat, add in the protein and fry until brown. Then add fish sauce, white pepper, a little sugar, and a touch of black soy sauce for color. Drop in a bunch of basil, finish it up, and serve over hot steamed rice. But the piece de resistance of any pad caprao is the egg, specifically duck egg for its extra fatty creaminess. Hard fried, the key is to separate the yolks from the whites, drop the whites in and fry it until it starts to brown, then drop the yolks onto the fried whites, toss with a little hot oil to seal it up, and serve on top the caprao. Perfect. At Pedmok, they offer five levels of spice. And if you know Mark Weens, you know he loves his foods as hot and spicy as can be. I mean, look at his shirt. If you run a search on Pedmok, you'll find all sorts of YouTubers more than eager to order the level five. I've heard people say that this is daredevil eating, where YouTubers want to see how much heat they can endure, but not me because burning my palate and seeing how much pain I can endure for an endorphin rush is definitely not for me. I'm interested in how it tastes. Is this the greatest Pad Kaprao in all of Thailand as the owners intended? I hope to find out. I spent my college years with friends like Shantira making us what she called mild Thai food. It was back then that I learned that what is mild to a Thai can be searing to someone like me. So I ordered the Pad Kaprao Mu at level two, very less spicy, just a little bit of spice to kick it up a notch, but any more and I wouldn't be able to enjoy the meal. I was a bit concerned that even the number two level would still be too hot for me, so I ordered the double egg for that extra yolk, which can help soothe the palate. But if you're really worried about the heat, there is a 7-Eleven just a few meters away where you can pick up some milk. 
add a Coke Zero and the total came out to 174 baht or about $4.90, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when most Peng Loy around the city sells Pad Kaprao for half of that, the locals say that Ped Ma is expensive. I noticed that during my visit, the only local Thai people here are the workers, which makes sense since the shop is geared towards tourists and fans of Mark who are spending at least twice this much for McDonald's back home. I'm excited. I'm excited to try this, but it seems like it's taking a long time. I mean, it's not like it's super busy. I just hope it comes soon. Happily, my cup pro comes shortly after. So how is it? Is this the greatest Pad Kaprao ever? It's good. Everything is fresh and tasty, but the best in Bangkok? I haven't been to a lot of the Pang Loy Kaprao vendors in the city, but it's not the best I've ever had. While it's good, it's also a little benign. There's something about it that feels like it's missing. After moving to Thailand, Mark met and married his wife, Ying, and when I heard about the restaurant, I figured the recipe would be his mother-in-law's. But it's not. Instead, the recipes are a development by the four owners to make the best Pad Kaprao, which seems to have led to some level of compromise because they're trying to appeal to the widest audience. I'm not Thai, so I have to turn to locals for their take on Pet Ma. Don't get me wrong, it's good. Is it worth your time to visit? I think that depends. Better Pad Kaprao can be had in Bangkok for cheaper. But I don't think you go to Pedmark for that. You go to Pedmark because you want to see what Mark Weens thinks is great Pad Kaprao. You go because you're a fan. You go because you want to feel some connection with a creator you admire. And that's the reason I went to Pedmark. So if you like Mark Weens, go. It's worth the trip. I was only scheduled to be in Bangkok for 48 hours and I had a hell of a time. Got to visit some great coffee spots, including having the best espresso of my career, eat delicious food, hang out with friends, attend a birthday party, and smoke a couple of cigars along the way. From here, I'm off to the Philippines and Japan for more adventures in coffee, and I hope you'll join me. See you next time. I ordered the first level of spice, which is supposed to be very little spicy, and man, my Filipino taste buds are just tingling. It's not as bad as it was last night, but it is a bit much for me. The quality of the pie cup